when they say it's a sketchy train, it's a sketchy train. And after Rome, we decided to head to the Amalfi Coast. We took the train from Rome to Naples, and then we took the sketchy train from Naples to Vico Equense. And when they say it's a sketchy train, it's a sketchy train. Emphasis on sketch. Yeah. However, it does get you from point A to point B. Safely. But you, uh, you might be shoved into a train and almost fall over with a kid on your back. Which is what happened to Aaron. Everybody wants on that train, so they are going to shove you in as far as you can go until they get on that train. Yeah, it must be a limited amount of trains. Yeah. So the Malfi Coast was a uh, more perfect vacation. Mm -hmm. um, it's less history and art and architecture. Less walking. And less walking. <laughs> and it was more just enjoying the scenery mm -hmm. and beautiful sights and great food and excursions. Yeah, for sure. So the first night we got there, we went, got into our hotel called the Hubo Apartment. Highly recommend that place. Highly recommend those people. Yeah, people especially. Beautiful place. Um, people were amazing. And they made us dinner the first night, which was delicious, of delicious. course. Yeah. And then that night, we kind of just relaxed for the evening and prepared for the next morning. Because the next morning, we went sailing. Woohoo! We rented a boat. Again, highly, <coughs> highly recommend. We rented from a place called Nautica Seek Seek. I think I said that right. <laughs> um, again, people super nice. Um, it was not boat season when we went, so literally we were the only, well, not the only ones, maybe like the second person yeah. on the part of the sea with a boat, but not that expensive. Highly recommend you got it all day long, and you didn't have to have like a boat license for the boat we had. Freedom. And he's driven a boat for us, so it was the best way to see the Amalfi Coast for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh high expectations for it and it didn't disappoint yeah. and I thought it was even better that they were pretty hands-off mm -hmm. it was all you mm -hmm. and what better way to enjoy the Amalfi Coast than on a boat seeing the whole coast so our boat we had all day we first took off to the town of Positano and we saw that from the boat we basically dropped anchor and just hung out Aaron jumped in the water freezing <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe he did that. We all wanted to, and then we were, saw his <laughs> face My after reaction. it, and we were like, "Not hyperventilation." Yeah. yeah, he could not get on the boat fast enough. That's, yeah, for, sure. that's for sure. <laughs> so after Positano, we took the boat to the island of Capri. Yes, uh, it was beautiful the whole way mm -hmm. uh, towards Positano, and then as we're heading towards it, even more picture picturesque. Mm -hmm. Um, I loved it. Uh, I loved sailing around it. There's a lot of uh, cool um, rock formations, tunnels, caves, you name it. Even like random small island chains of uh, land that had like monasteries and stuff like yeah. that. Just random things uh, along the way to get there. Um, probably that was my best, best experience was uh, sailing towards the island Capri.
push it from the distance, and then mm -hmm. as you get closer, um, we tried to dock. Um, we did. One of the places they told us to eat, and he basically was like, "Just go dock, and they'll come to you." And well, it wasn't it much instruction. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't much instruction. So we didn't really have a chance at either, uh, especially with like the prop. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't want to ruin that. It's pretty expensive, so we decided uh, we'll forego that part. Yeah. So we ended up just driving around the entire island until we came to the place we were most excited about, yes. the Blue Grotto. So once we got to the Blue Grotto, Isaiah actually passed out, yep. and Aaron didn't have any desire really to do the Blue Grotto. Yeah, it was a little rough going. That's true. Um, you have to wait. If you're on your own, you have to wait for all these tourist barges to go through. They tend to cater then first. Mm -hmm. and then on top of that, you are dealing with island Italians, and they're even less in a hurry to help you than mainland Italians. That is true. We probably waited like 30 minutes until someone came. and yeah. It's it on was, their time, not on your time. Yeah, it was a mess, but still well worth it. So we basically wait for this guy to finally come get us, pay our outrageous fee, and we get on the boat, and he takes us in. And you have to duck, I'm sure. If you have ever read anything about the Blue Garter, you know. You have to like duck going in, and then you go in, and it's like really dark. And <laughs> you're like, uh... And then the guy's like, look behind you. So once you look behind you, and the water is so blue, it's absolutely beautiful. And while you're in there, they kind of roll you around for a little bit. They sing their Italian songs. And then like five minutes later, you're out. <laughs> but it was definitely worth the picture, and my cousin and I really enjoyed that time. So deciding to do the boat tour all day, I was a little bit nervous with Isaiah to see how he would do, because obviously his, he's confined to a boat the whole entire time. Um, but he did great. Like the whole time Aaron was driving, he just like laid against my chest and I put a towel over him because the wind was a lot. So if you do have kids, I still would recommend renting a boat. So one of the major ways of seeing all the cities in the Amalfi Coast is to take a bus. And in the summer, I've heard that it's one, super crazy busy and extremely hot. Luckily for us, we went before summer season and we decided to take the bus. And it was still a little hot. It so was I still can, hot. I can only imagine during the summer because you're packed in the bus just as much mm -hmm. as that horrific train. <laughs> yeah. And so we took the bus from Sorrento to Amalfi, which is the farthest destination from the um, Sorrento area. And... It was pretty cheap. I don't remember how much, like maybe six, uh, 12 euro round trip, maybe a person. Um, and the bus ride was insane. And again, if you've probably researched anything about this, you read about the bus rides and the drivers, etc. But it is insane. Some of these videos, like, I mean, we were like this close to hitting the wall, like through a whole entire tunnel or a bridge. It was pretty, uh, Pretty scary. Yeah, we, uh, we compared it to our trip to Ireland. If you know anything about mm -hmm. Ireland, too. Uh, it gets real close, real tight, real quick. And uh, throw in a bunch of curves with oh. cliffside. Yeah. And that's what you have in the Malfi Coast. Yeah. Beautiful, though. Like, I, I don't know if I would do it again. I would probably do the boat again. That Because that was just much easier. Um, Doing a but, one, one time thing. But it was still so worth it. So we get off the bus and we go and we see Amalfi. And Amalfi is beautiful as well. Um, this was the main city we basically got off and saw inside the city. The rest of it we just saw from boat. But um, there's a church in the Amalfi which is kind of a picturesque church. So I highly recommend going and seeing that and walking around, getting your limoncello. Yeah, the big draw too is the houses. Mm -hmm. um, they may not be like million dollar houses it's just the way the colorfulness mm -hmm. of them and the way they're stacked up on the cliff side yeah. really what the whole mafia coast draw is mm -hmm. uh, it's a different lifestyle it's really yeah. cool so i said earlier we stayed in the city of vico equense and it's right outside of sorrento so if you're looking for a cheaper option i uh, highly recommend that because you can take that sketchy bus <laughs> into sorrento um, and then stay a lot cheaper it's still beautiful view and everything but make your way to Sorrento and kind of walk around. That is like very beachy and um, just like welcomes you to the island. I really enjoyed that city. Our last day, uh, we decided to stop in Pompeii. 
Um, we recommend it as a quick stop. We kind of spent half a day there. Probably didn't need to. Um, mostly you're going to see the architecture, and then of course you're going to try to discover like what happened there, how did it happen, and then you're going to see the casks of, of the people that they found after the ash and lava went away as well. Basically the town of Pompeii got what covered by the Mount Vesuvius eruption of lava. So basically the whole entire town got wiped away. Um, all the people just died. And then they've uncovered it as the years have gone. And so you kind of walk around and it's like this big, huge maze. But to be honest, everything kind of starts to look exactly the same. If you look to the right, it's down there. I mean, like everything just kind of looks the same no matter where you look. It was, it was a huge ancient city. Yeah. So you do get that feel. It's eerie as well because mm -hmm. it's just completely empty minus the tourists that are there. But... It's so big, like she said, you get to the point where you sort of get lost because, I mean, it is like they had like a brick and mortar cell of the same bricks and mortar. Yeah. Like, it's like someone just made cookie cutter homes mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to say. So like she said, it's pretty easy to get lost in there. Yeah. Again, I would highly recommend still going as a stop. Um, and I've kind of found that people either love it or they are just okay with it. And we think we're just okay with it. Yeah. Glad we went, but didn't yeah. need to spend hours there, that's for sure. Yep. If you're looking for a low-key, beautiful vacation spot in Italy, highly recommend the Amalfi Coast. Of course, for us, the highlight of this trip was renting the boat. I cannot recommend that enough. It's a perfect way to see the Amalfi Coast.